Let's see if we can take this a step further. So John Capobianco here, what I've done is completely erased all of the configuration from the CML minus the management interfaces that connect to edit band, how I can connect to them. So I've removed the VLANs and the interface configurations from switch one and switch two. So there's no VLAN definition and each interface is shut down with no VLAN or mode access or anything. Um, on the routers, I have uh, shut down and removed the IP addresses from the four interfaces. And now let's see with a human prompt, and we're going to have to craft a pretty uh, sophisticated prompt, but I think we can get the agents to do this. If we can get the agents to grab the data from Netbox for the, how many, four, seven, for the 10 interfaces, so four devices, 10 interfaces, four VLANs, Let's see if we can get the agents to bring up the entire topology from a single prompt. This is ambitious. I really don't know if it's going to work, but let's give it a shot. So we're in this topology and, you know, if I show you the running config on router one, um, you know, there's no IP addresses on the interfaces facing each other or facing their downstream switch. So both router one and two, um, I have no concept of connectivity. And if we go to the switches, if I do a show VLAN, there are no VLANs other than the default VLANs. And if I do the show run on the interfaces, uh, ETH00, zero, zero, whoops, ETH00, zero, 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 02, they're all shut. Well, let me shut interface 02. And then switch to, same thing, show VLAN, no VLANs, show run in ETH 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. So the only things that, I, I wish I could ping across, but the pings use the unmanaged at a band switch. But if I try to ping like the gateway, so this IP address that's, that's going to be on router 1 ETH 0, 0, I can't ping it. And if I try to ping ETH00 on router 2 from the server down here, I can't ping that either. So let's move to the net box. And if we go to my site of DevNet Sandbox, um, we can see that it has router 1, router 2, switch 1, switch 2. And if we go into the router definitions, we have the two interfaces. And each of those interfaces has uh, different IP addresses. Okay. Now if I go back to my... Um, DevNet Sandbox. So that was Router 1. Router 2, right now, with the Switch 1, you can see that I have three interfaces... And these interfaces are a little bit different. They've been tagged as access ports. And they have a description. And they've been put on different VLAN tags. So let's see if we can rebuild this from a prompt. And let's uh, start the, so the server's up. We'll refresh the screen here. And let's come up with a good prompt. All right. Can you please Use the netbox data for R1, R2, SW1, and SW2 to gather the required information to configure these devices on the routers R1 and R2. Please configure all of the interface IP addresses and descriptions on the switches, SW1 and SW2. Please configure the required VLANs and interfaces.
let's try it. I think that's a decent prompt. And we'll see if it will go sequentially here, you know, and get router one's information and know that router one and router two have don't have VLANs, just have IP addresses. And it's going to get the IP addresses, hopefully for all four interfaces. And then go ahead and deal with the switches. So it looks like it's gathering the information from router two. It has the information from router one. And maybe I should add, once you have the information, go ahead and configure the device sequentially. Something like that. Let's just let it finish up here. So this is a good observation. The IPs in the descriptions. So now it's going to gather the VLAN and interface configuration from switch one. So it looks like it's gathered the information for router one, gathered the information for router two, and now it's going to try to get the interfaces and associated VLANs. And there's all of this great stuff from switch one, and now it's going to get it from switch two. That's all factual from Netbox. So now it's getting switch two. Okay, I missed a description here. That's fine. And now it's going to call the routers. So now we're on router one's configuration. Okay, it only configured one interface. Okay, so that's a bit of a miss, unless it's going to go back and add. No, now it's going to go back and do the other interface. Okay, so now it goes back and does the other interface. And now it's on router two. And it's doing router two, one interface, and then it should go back and do the other interface on router two. And then we're going to get into VLANs and access port switches. So router 2, here's the other IP address. So the routers are done. If I were to go back on here and check router 1, it's done, that's done, descriptions and no shut and IP addresses, descriptions, no shut and IP addresses. So now I'm on switch one. I want to bring it back a bit here. So now it's going to do switch one. And it's doing interface zero and it looks like it's creating VLAN 10. Right, because it wouldn't have visited. So now it's going to what? It's going to do three calls and do each interface on switch one. and then switch to. Okay, so this will be the third of three interfaces on switch one. So if I'm on switch one and switch one looks like it's done, zero, zero, Zero one, zero two. Can we ping? Well, I guess that's an unpingable address. There's got to be an address I can ping on router one. Um, this is a Linux host, so it might need a route or something on it. Can I ping one 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 one? I don't think so. 
know, unreachable. All right, so the ping tests are going to be, I thought it'd be neat to prove that we have ping working, but the configurations alone are good enough. So let's go back here. <laughs> here we are on switch two. Um, interface. Yeah, so Ethernet zero. And now I'm on Ethernet one. And now I'm on Ethernet two. Disconnecting from switch two. I believe that we've just configured 10 links on four devices and four VLANs. The routers have been configured with the required IP address at, at descriptions. The switches have been configured with the necessary VLANs and interface settings. Um, it just gets more uh, interesting, intriguing, exciting, scary, eye-opening, remarkable. So that, again, was 10 different interfaces, four VLANs, assigning different interfaces to different VLANs on the access layer, the switches, with descriptions, and on the routers above, configuring the upstream links with IP addresses and the point-to-point -point link between them with IP addresses, all from the source of truth net box. So we put all the populate the source of truth, let our agents gather the information, and then go per agent, per device, and push out the required configurations. I had no idea that this would work. Um, none of this was staged or planned. I, I, th I thought I would just try this again. Um, and it's really, really remarkable, really incredible stuff. So thoughts, comments, share, like, subscribe, much more to come.